Uh, hi, it's Matt. Just wanted to drop an update. Feels like it's been a little while. So, Christmas and New Year's all out the way now. And obviously Christmas period creates its own problems if you like a drink. It does even if you don't, to be fair. But yeah, I just wanted to explain uh, or share an insight, really. The, uh, so the first thing was we, we, we got invited away to like a works Christmas do, which was um, up in Newcastle. And well, ordinarily, we'd have gone to that event. Um, I would have got changed, got ready, gone and made an excuse to meet someone in the bar and had three, four pre-drinks, if you like. Uh, got to the event, had the, you know, the welcome drinks. Then, you know, looking at how the event, how long it was, probably would have drank between eight and 10 pints on a night like that. And then back to the hotel where we would have had, um, you know, drinks before we, we, we head up to bed and last orders would always get two pints in, you know, just to make sure I'm, <clears throat> I'm well oiled, not wanting to miss anything or take advantage of a situation that I'm in, especially, you know, with the excuse of it being Christmas and, you know, that time period where you can do that kind of thing. So that's ordinarily what would have happened for me. That, that would have been my night. I can almost guarantee it to the T. So what actually happened, <laughs> I took um, I took the, my tablet, I think it was about half, uh, half, no it was six o'clock, we were meeting friends in the bar at six and I was just mindful of, you know, trying to get down to the bar, not get there too early. Um, we met friends for a drink in the bar, we just had the one. We went to uh, the event, had had the welcome drink. It was like a little cocktail, um, and yeah, just at the event, it was it was really. I think the thing that I, I noticed most was I was enjoying the atmosphere and enjoying being with my wife and enjoying be, being with friends, and. Sounds so strange, but it was like the drink was third or fourth on the list, whereas ordinarily the drink would have been top of the list. You know that that would have been one of the main reasons why I was going to an event like that, so that I could have a good drink, so I could see people and have a drink with them, and yeah, it just didn't end up being that. It was it was it was completely different. Um, I ended up having four drinks instead of genuinely between sort of eight and ten pints and then we head, headed back to the, um, the hotel had some drinks at the bar um, we, we, we got a taxi back with some good friends um, him and his wife with me and my wife and we ordered a drink yeah, ordinarily you know I'd have been rushing to finish it or you know trying to get it down me as quick as I can to utilize the remaining time at the bar but I you know I didn't I just I was just enjoying the company and I was enjoying the atmosphere and almost the experience of not wanting to just get it down my neck it sounds so weird when I say it out loud but yeah I just I really appreciated that thing and then uh, last last orders at the bar came and I, I said no I'd had enough my, my friend and his wife they had another drink and we stayed and had the drink with them so that they weren't you know we didn't just leave them to it yeah so it was just a totally unique <laughs> an interesting experience of <sighs> I, don't, I, don't, I almost treat them as like experiments if you like how am I going to react how is I you know I don't drink out at events or social situations very often much prefer to drink on my own at home but in a, you know in a situation like that so at the end of the night I'd had six drinks including the one at the bar afterwards and the one at the bar before and I would ordinarily drink eight ten twelve of a night at home so it really really put it into context for me how how much of a difference it's making to me. 
and uh, and, and sort of in, impacting the you know my my behaviour around drinking. I think another great thing that I uh, I noticed as well was um, you know the close friends that were at this event, and I was telling people about TSM, sharing sharing my stories and kind of sharing my wins and what the method is. I think the same as me. They were quite surprised that it's not well known. I, I had them. I, I record everything in the um, in the drink log. I showed them the drink log, and you know, it was blowing people away. Um, one of the one of the lads has actually followed up with me to see uh, to see how he would go about getting help with his drinking. And I think um, it also struck me the um, you know being honest with people and. And explaining that I, you know, I was struggling with drinking, and uh, you know, I've actually got a drink problem. How many people were open and honest with me about it as well, and almost admitted to the same, to the same thing, you know, that they were struggling and perhaps don't want to go abstinent and stop completely, but they definitely want to cut down, and they're aware that it, you know it, it's something that they need to do. So, yeah, that was. Um, I'm going to drop another video straight after this actually because that's kind of part one if you like. In fact there's a little bit more to this. So um, that was the night one while we were away. I forgot about this. Night two came with its own win as well. So in fact during the day, not day two, we went out, we, you know, we planned to do Christmas shopping while we were out and about. We went for lunch, pub lunch. Again, ordinarily, you know, what an excuse! It's Christmas with Christmas shopping, pub lunch, and I can't remember what it was I ordered. Now it was like a tiramisu. No, that wasn't some, something like a tiramisu cappuccino. It was non-alcoholic anyway. It was, uh, but it was like a hot chocolate kind of tiramisu thing, and just didn't miss or think about the drink at all. It was just. I was much rather, you know, I was just kind of in the in the zone and in the place of, of just wanting to enjoy being out and, and in that situation and not have a drink. That was really interesting. And then um, this is the real win, really. So we, um, it, it was uh, I'm trying to think of the date now. It was the 16th. So it was when England were um, playing in the World Cup. Let's swing this round a bit. Was when England were playing in the World Cup, and um, England were playing on the Saturday night. I don't know whether the wind's going to stop us here. England were playing on the Saturday night, and my wife said to me, "You know, where do you want to go and watch the game?" I want to find a. In fact, I'm going to pause this 